That's where I see the confusion comes. Yeah, according so to you him. guys think that Ishmael. Was not the we one think, that was we believe. Sacri- not we think. Okay, so you guys believe that Ishmael. Not we was think, we believe. That, you believe that Ishmael was sacrificed. Do you know why? Why? Because we have a text. Oh. You don't have a text. Going back. Where the confusion comes. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. So he is Ishmael. And Ishmael. And Ishmael was. That is why. Tell me any nation on earth. On earth. When when you have a son or a daughter, when you have a child, yes. you slaughter a sheep. Tell me any nation implement this. Well, tell me, I don't know. But my Can point you tell right me? Now, no, I don't know. But do you, do you know who does it? Who? The Arabs. Even even before before the Prophet was sent, it was known. Whenever you have a son. You sacrifice, you do a, a sheep or a goat or a camel for the sake of God. They used to do that. Yeah, even the pig. No, even the Israelites did that as well as a normal sacrifice. Used to normally no, no, sacrifice. we're not talking about the normal sacrifice. We're talking about the sacrifice for having a child. So, for the purpose of once you had a child. Yeah, once you have a child, you do this. Okay. Where did they got it from? Where's the what? Where, Where did they got it, it from? I don't know. Like. Tell me. I don't know. It's just in my bag. I just assume. But you that, understand sorry. his point, right? I understand his point. You know where they got it from? Yeah. You know where it goes from. You think he got it from Arabs? No, they got it from their father Abraham. Yeah. Because he he slaughtered sheep for Ishmael. Yeah. That's why the descendants of Ishmael. Yes. Well, that's why the descendants they keep that tradition. Tradition. Yeah. Even in Christianity, it's the same thing in the Old Testament. No, there is. But let me explain. No, no, no. no but one second, one second, one second. There is difference between sacrifice in the Old Testament and you sacrifice when you have a child. For the purpose of the child. For purpose having a child. Totally different things. So that's why any Muslim on earth now, whenever we have a son or a daughter, we slaughter for the sake of God and we distribute the food. We do that. Why? Because our our because our Prophet confirmed this. Because Abraham did it. Because Abraham did it to who? Ishmael. No, so it's not Ishmael. This is why I'm Yeah, my why, point is why? if it was Ishaq, if it was Isaac, if it was Ishaq, yeah? Yes. Was that tradition kept in the Isaac in the Isaac in the Isaac? Well, Isaac. for a child. Yes. Not specifically for a child. Yes, you're right. Yeah, I'm talking about specifically for the child. Okay, no, yeah, no, no, in that, not for that. Yeah. Reason, yeah, that's why Ashmael, Ashmael, when he had children, he did the same. The the children of Ishmael, when they have children, they have done the same, and so on and so forth. So it was a habit done by Abraham, peace be upon him. That's why we do it. That's why we do it. For example, yeah. For example, we follow the the faith of of Abraham. And Abraham did circumcision, yeah? yeah, and did circumcision. Sorry to say, in your, I know African they do circumcision. Oh, yeah. I know this, yeah? yeah. I don't know, but not every Christian they they, they, they follow that. That does circumcision. Now you see the point. So we keep the tradition, and these things it wasn't taught to us by the Israelites. These things it was taught to us by Ishmael. That confirms all of these history, historical things, well, historical fact. That Ishmael, no, 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 no. Now, that's a big misconception. Before the Ishmael is the uncle of Israel, yeah. is the uncle of Jacob. Yeah. You cannot use the uncle. The, 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 I cannot yeah, say to you. It's a different nation. They're a distinct nation. Yeah, the no, distinct. Yeah, they're distinct nation. Okay, yeah, they're not Israelites. I agree. Okay, Israelites I agree. are the descendants of Israel. The descendants of of, of, J- of Isaac. Of, yeah, of Jacob. 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 Yes, not yeah. even Isaac. Yeah, Jacob. Yeah, but Those but are the Israelites. Yes. But Ishmael, he's not from the Israelites. Jacob is Israel. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. So Ishmael is not from the Israelites. But that the father, the father Abraham, brought him and, and placed him there. And then God commanded him, commanded them to build the Kaaba. And that's why they rebuilt the Kaaba. And then Allah says in the Quran, and as will purify my house, which is which is Mecca, all those ones who are Ta'ifin, who go who goes around, the do tawaf, and those who seclude themselves there, and the one who to, so as a place of worship. Now we don't. Even if you remove the Kaaba as it is, we still pray towards that direction. It doesn't matter. That building, that building, that building, you know, for us, is we are not worshipping that building. We are directing our worship towards that area. And those are totally different things. So that's why when we say, and that's confirmed histor- historically, that's confirmed verbally by generations how after generations. Okay, how do you guys know? Why do you guys think? Or believe rather that Ishmael was the one that was sacrificed instead of Isaac. Good. Now, how we believe this? We have. Let me tell you something. We have the Bible says according to the to the and, and the Torah as well, yes. confirming that it was Isaac. Yes. Yeah. And we have our Prophet peace be upon confirming that it was Ishmael. 
Yeah. Now, which one, which one has more standards in terms of authority? Which one has more stronger in terms of authority? Let me give you. Let me go back a bit for you. Yeah. To an information. What's that? I'm, I'm trying to explain to you where we where we stand, how we deal with the Bible, how we deal with the Old Testament and the New Testament. Now, for example, Laju, can you tell me, Laju, come on, to, on this side. Yeah? Now, tell me, Laju, what was the title of the king at the time of Joseph? The, the Egyptian king, what was his title? Can you please tell me? Uh, I know this, but uh, you're gonna say that there were no pharaohs. Yeah, okay, no, just, just, just uh, tell me. Uh, yeah, yeah, just say. Uh, hey, what was no, no, What was the title? Pharaoh. Where it was this mission in the Bible, correct? Yeah. Old Testament confirmed in the Old Testament, correct? Yeah. Confirmed information in the Old Testament. Pharaoh was the title of the king of Egypt at the time of Joseph. And what was the title of the king of Egypt at the time of Moses? Is Pharaoh, correct? Both Pharaoh. So happy days. Pharaoh here, Pharaoh there, no problem. Ne nearly a thousand year gap. Is it a thousand years between yeah. between uh, between Mo Joseph, Joseph and, and, and Moses? Around a thousand years? Yeah, I think so. Let's say a thousand or five hundred, whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there is a gap, big gap, and always Pharaoh there, Pharaoh there, no problem. Happy days, okay. Quran came. So, and you find the story of Moses scattered around the Quran talking about Moses and Pharaoh, Pharaoh and Moses, Moses and Aaron and Pharaoh. So, there is a struggle confirmed this in the Quran. But we have one single chapter in the Quran talking about Joseph, the story of Joseph. And in that story, talking about a king. Whatsoever, there is no Pharaoh at all. So, because the Quran. Says one second. That's yeah, because, because the Quran said, one second. We said. I mean, it's a, it's some, a very short listen, detail. Though. Listen, listen. This is a detail. A detail. Yeah. So Christian fellows in the past, they said, your Quran got it wrong. He should be Pharaoh. Why the Quran is not consistent? This is the king of Egypt. He should be Pharaoh. We said, if God said so, we believe this. Until recently, 100 years ago, uh, before 100 and something years ago, German, German uh, actually Egypt, mission yeah. went to Egypt and they discovered risotto stone. They took risotto stone to Germany and then it was transmitted here for some reason. It's called risotto stone. You heard about risotto oh, stone. Perfect. Yeah. And then an Englishman was kind of working out, working, trying his best to do that. And then they dismantled that the, the old hieroglyphic language into old Greek language into old Latin language. So it makes sense now. And then they translate and then they found that they are able to read what is written on the monuments, what's written on the on the pyramids, what's written on the scrolls that they found. And then this is the amazing point, Laj. If you want to, to find the truth, yeah, God will show it to you. If you don't want to find the truth, even if it's in front of your eyes, you just see, as Allah says in the Quran, that they have eyes but they couldn't see, they have ears but they couldn't hear, they have mind but they couldn't think. They don't want because they choose not. You see here. And then they said, then they discovered, then they, they, they start reading the, the Egypt history from with a new lens now, because they are able to read the language. And then they discovered, yes, the title of the, of, the, of the king at the time of Moses was Pharaoh, no problem. But they said, not me, historian, confirmed history. It is impossible, you understand what it means? Impossible that the king at the time of Joseph to be called Pharaoh. Why? Because Hexos ruled Egypt during that time, and Hexos is the Mediterranean reign. They came, they're not Egyptian. They came and they ruled Egypt. And they never used the title Pharaoh, they used the title King. So that's why they would say King. They will never use this at all. Later on, the title Pharaoh was introduced, and it was some in some scripture they said it was introduced as the uh, as I can confirm all of your Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. As I told that things you are talking about. Sir. You see here. Yeah. You see here. We have historian here, sir. So, what did you study? What did you study, sister? Uh, no, I am a doctor. Your doctor. Yeah. And what? We, we, we heard all about it uh, during our study in the high school and reading the, the Pharaoh books. Are you from Egypt? You're yeah, I'm yeah. Too. yeah. Okay. So then they f they found out it is impossible, and Hyksos ruled yeah. during the time of Joseph. King, not Pharaoh. They were never they were called kings, not pharaohs, and that's something confirmed. It's a confirmed. It's a fact. It's actually. If you say to them, actually Pharaoh was the king of Joseph, they will laugh at you. What kind of, just like to say now, King Charles is the Caesar of of, of yeah. United Kingdom. Yeah. They will laugh at you. What Caesar? There's no Caesar. He's a king. You don't use Caesar. That's a major fool. Yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a big thing. They say, but what's the difference? It's a ruler. It's about a ruler. It's not about a ruler. Yeah, because in the Bible they will choose the word king elsewhere, but when it comes to Egypt they will use Pharaoh. Yeah. 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 
they know this. But when it comes to any Egyptian king, there is Pharaoh. But don't you think that's a mistake in the Bible? Okay, but Please it doesn't confirm. Okay, cool. But it doesn't change the overall principle of what they would be talking about, is my point. No, it changed. It changed. It, it changed. Because it, it changed. doesn't. Because by calling somebody Can a pharaoh or a king to the human height, if you, I call you a king right now, I call you a pharaoh. Okay, okay I'm, in general, if I call you a king or a pharaoh, I'm still under your rule. So Whatever. it doesn't really matter whether I call you a king. Um, but I understand what you're trying to say in terms of the times. Can, can I say to you something? The, uh, what, what do you study, by the way? Have you studied anything? Uh, no. Well, I'm a lawyer. Yeah. You're a lawyer? Yeah. Okay, you're a lawyer. Do you write sometimes some uh, official statement? Uh, no, yeah, I'm a law student. Bro. Okay, a law student. When you become, when you become, I hope you become uh, a solicitor than a barrister. Yeah, a barrister. Yeah. I, I wish no, you become no, a barrister no, at, one, at one point. Yeah? yeah? So when you become a barrister, you're going to write some kind of official statement, yes? You might address the king, yeah? Here. Yeah. Then you will address, I want you to address in one statement, just one. Do it for me. Do it for me. Say to his, uh, what they call it, his highness, what they call it. To his majesty, King Charles III, the pharaoh of United Kingdom. No, I feel, I understand what <laughs> Yeah, just please say. say this. I know. I wanted you to say it. The pharaoh of the United Kingdom. <laughs> and then let's see how the people will look at you at that point. Yeah. If, it's, if you are as a human being, you cannot dare to say it. How you say God will say it? How God will fail into this mistake? No, but God came down as a man. He can make mistakes. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's, 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 that's my problem. Come on. That's not me. That's not me. That's not me. Do you see the point? You cannot do it. You cannot do it. You may lose your job <laughs> if you did it. It's a principle of formality. Yeah, principle of formality. And truth. No, principle of truth. Truth, truth. Because he's not Pharaoh. Basically, listen, you are you are not addressing him in the right way. If it's from God, and by the way, by the way, for you to know, do you know that even the, even Queen, queen Elizabeth, at certain point, mm. she was the kind of the queen in the Middle East. You know that, mm. even in Egypt and certain, but never addressed the Pharaoh of Egypt. Even the president, the current president, you cannot he's the Pharaoh of Egypt. He's a president. So you cannot use you cannot use the term Pharaoh there. It's it's it's, it's wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. And you can't base it off of interpretation. The so it's not interpretation. It's not about what's the principle. It's about the wrong. It's wrong. It's a mistake. So accept it's a mistake. So that's why it cannot. If it, if the if Bible was the word of God, if Bible is the word of God, then it should be truth. It should not have mistakes. And that's a big mistake. That's a mistake. That's literally a historical mistake. Flows. You cannot use it. Human error. I, I don't. I, I think it's deliberate. Error. So yeah. the point is. So that's why. So, so that, this answers. Listen, that answers. Listen, listen, that answers you and the Jews who claims that text is the word of God, which has a flaws about 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 the Pharaoh. Just only thing that that confirms that the, their knowledge about Isaac to be the slaughtered one is a flaws as well. Okay. I understand so if there is an error there, it can be error there. Right. There is an error in the truth of it. But my point is that like you, have, you like talking about the Pharaoh as a king or whatever, it's not going to change the moral principle. Of no what change, change, no change. Liberated. No, it change. You will lose no, your no, job. No, if you did, you will no, lose your job. No, yes. It change, no, change, no, it change. does. As, as if I was at it that time, yes, it would. Everywhere, everywhere. I agree. Time. No, it would. It would. It no, would. no, it change. Listen. At that time, it would work. Yes. No, no, no. It would. It would hurt me at that time if I was to address him. Can I say to you something? As king, can I say to you something? Did, did, David, did David, did David, did David and Solomon, did they rule Egypt? No. They ruled part of Egypt, you know that? Maybe, yeah. yeah? They ruled part of Egypt, yeah? I don't know. Would they address as pharaohs? No. Why not? Because they doesn't predominantly change. like kings of the Israelites. Kings, the kings. So kings. So you use kings. Kingdom in Israel. Okay. What was the title of the king? What was, what was the one, the story, Ibrahim and the king? You know that story? Abraham. Abraham and king, and that king, um, the king. Yeah, um, yeah, what's his name? A king. I know the number. Yeah. yeah? King. So king. Why not Pharaoh? Because they are in Egypt, they're in Mesopotamia. Yeah, okay. So so why we hear someone, you give a title to someone who doesn't belong to him? Admit it's an error. Just say it's an error. I agree, it's an error. That's I'm it. That's agree, it. It's, it's Don't defend error. it. I'm not trying to defend it, but I'm saying it's a human error. It can make sense. Human no, error. it's not Doesn't, a human error. No, my point it's is a like, deliberate error. You think you can interpret it as deliberate or you can interpret it as How not. do I know? How That's do I know? my point. Like, how do I know? It's, it's a, it's a, it's a, Listen, it's a how do I know? How do I know? That makes no sense. You Listen. can interpret it as that. How do I know? How do I know? That should not be interpreted as anything deep. Do you know why? That's my Because I believe if it was, if it is the word of God, it should be protected. 
So if someone changes it, that's someone who has deliberately to change it. Basically. So that goes back. That goes back. It doesn't change. No, the bigger. No, it, it changed. It changed. This, this scripture that you, like, I'm sorry, that you're trying to follow, it's fundamental to your life. Like to us, to me, the Quran is fundamental to my life in yeah, the way how you like. So if if you believe in a errorful book. That's just how it's gonna affect your life. You know what I mean? Like, so just think about it from uh, as well as well as well as well. Roman kings, Roman Caesars, they ruled Egypt. They took over Egypt at a certain period of time. They never used the title Pharaoh. If you call them Pharaohs, you humiliate them. You cannot use it. It cause problems. Yeah. So that's why the Hexos. They didn't have the, the, the title Pharaoh. That's my point to you. Yeah, and that's why when the Quran was consistent in that chapter, in King, King and Joseph, Joseph and the King. So again, I repeat again, King, repeating few few times King. And even there is old King and new King, things like that. But when it comes to, to Moses, always Pharaoh, consistent Pharaoh, consistent. So that's why it shows you how the Quran was consistent with the truth, even with these small details. Don't you think someone will choose, even with these terms, still be consistent? Don't you think with the information that's beyond this, don't you think that it has more right to be true? Yes. That's why Ashmael was the one who should be slaughtered. I understand your point. Do you want to accept Islam? As I As told you, I can't, I'm not going to just take your word for it and accept no it. No problem. I, I want to. I'll be dishonest of me and I'm not going to be dishonest to God and just say I'm going to accept and accept. I'm not, I don't fully understand yet. Yes, I want, I want, yes, to, I want I, you to do something. I, accept. I, I want you to do something today. Yeah. Go home today. Yes. Take a shower. Yes. Sit down. Say, oh God, I know you're there. I know you hear me. I know you see me. Oh God. Oh God. Look, look at this. Call him. Oh God of Abraham. Oh God of Moses. O oh God of Jesus, O oh God of all the prophets and messengers, guide me to the right path. Guide me to the right path. And be sincere in this. Yeah, of course I'm No one's here. I'm asking you to do that. It's a matter of life and death. Yeah? Yeah. Show me the right path. Even if it's against, if something that I wasn't even thinking about it, you will follow. And trust me, you will become Muslim. I'll admit that you have asked some good, truth provoking questions. All right. Top provoking man. questions that I will go. And inquire. About. And you have, you have uh, if you want, to, you could take my number if you have any questions. No anytime, we are happy to answer your question. Leisure. No All right. May God guide you to the right path. Amen. No All mind. right. All right. Take care. All right. 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 All